This is Twit. Sooner going to get the Raspberry Pi keyboard. That keyboard. Is that not awesome? Isn't that, that is great? That is so great. It's, it's sold out everywhere, but yes. I was like, it oh. It is a $70 keyboard. That what places are selling it for 100 well, there's a hundred dollar kit you can get with all the cabling and stuff. Oh, okay. So if That's you cool. have okay. the cables, you don't need them, and you, any geek will have the cables. Oh, yeah. But the this cables. is about twenty. Of them. Yeah. Yeah. This is so awesome, so cool. It is a Raspberry Pi, and it's it's the high end Raspberry Pi four inside a keyboard, seventy bucks. All you have to do is take the HDMI out, put it on your TV, power it. Maybe if you want to add a mouse. And you've got a computer, a really good computer. Now, a little caveat for uh, people who maybe are thinking, I'll get this for the kids, they can do their classes. Zoom and a camera, you can get them working, but it's going to be a little challenge. It's not you're just mm -hmm. as simple as plugging in a USB camera on this. So if you're a geek, you could figure it out. But, you, but it would work? Yeah, Raspberry Pi has a camera module for it, and... Mm -hmm. uh, you could plug it in. I bet it would work. I'm, I can't guarantee Pseudo it. app git install. Yeah, it's it's Linux. But <laughs> Zoom works on Linux. Uh, there's a web-based version of Zoom. Um, I just... I just uh, it reminded me of a Sinclair, the old days. It the is. Old day stuff. Yeah. I know. I don't I understand it. why audio is coming out of my computer. I, I was like, so what is playing music? I completely <laughs> lost control of... of uh, <laughs> so I'm it's playing Baby YouTube. Shark in the background. Now, it will never stop playing Baby Shark. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> no, it's his no, computer's it's, haunted. It's coming out of my f my phone. I don't know why it started playing Eminem Criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody say something about Criminal and Eminem? Wow. I don't know. I thought it sounded like Eminem. <laughs> that oh was my very gosh. strange. So random. Very random. Yeah. So I'm watching YouTube last night. Um, like I said, I watch YouTube just as much as I watch regular television. And Queen Pruitt was down there on the couch with me. And I saw this this pie announcement pop up and turn it on. And I'm like, wow, that is so cool. And I said, that's the, the same Raspberry Pi that we have upstairs. The, four. Like, the what? Yeah. I said, the desk <laughs> computer. The what? It. <laughs> oh, so are, you, are your boys using Raspberry Pis? No, I just, it's, nobody touches it but me, it's but fun. it's in there. It you got to keep a pie around the house in case you need to load some software and keep it as a web server or I a home agree. hub. Or, you just yep. got to have a pie. I do. It's I have just, a pie sitting on my desk ready to go. It's just a guest browser for, for us for the most yeah. part, but it's it's there. Oh, I and, love it. You know, and I'm explaining that, hey, I, it's that computer that we have upstairs, but it's all in the keyboard. And the face just went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and and why are you pointing this out to me? Why would I care? This is this is my life. I sit there and I get really excited about something, and I'm like, oh my god, the FCC is going to release this spectrum, and my husband is like, nope. <laughs> and nope. he's a geek. That's like, the funny thing. He's not like he is not a geek. Yeah. Oh, he's well, not. He's sort of a geek. He's but kind of he's a not geek. that kind of geek. Does he do the same thing about new top level domains? Oh God, no. He's like, no one wants no. to hear about that state. Like, he knows nothing. better. Oh my God! They just released the dot app TLD. <laughs> I'm so excited. Exactly. But seventy bucks. For that device, yeah. that's awesome. I know. I it got is. excited it about is. this, and I was trying to explain it to him, and he's like, "Well, do we need one of these?" And I was like, "Oh no, no." But they're but cool. Don't you want one? It's an impulse <laughs> price point. That's for sure. But you remember the one laptop per child? I have one in the other room. Yeah. Yeah. That was a hundred dollars. Right. It was a hundred dollars. It was kind of interesting, but you could do absolutely everything you would do with that, and ten t it's ten times more powerful. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, did one laptop per child that had a screen, right? Yes, it came yeah, with yeah, everything. Yeah. It even so came with wireless little... mesh networking. It was a very interesting, and it and it ran on a, 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 a programming language called Scratch, which is basically small talk. So it was a very interesting. Uh, very, very interesting idea that did not take off. I have one because no. there was a buy one, I buy two, thing. give one to uh, you know Africa or somewhere. And um, nice, it's there. It's a really intra. It's historic. It but is. this, but this pie has absolutely changed the world in ways that that was what OLPC was gonna do. 
This pie right. is amazing. And it's funny that you should say it reminds you of, you know, the Commodores and stuff, because really that was the inspiration of the BBC Micro. Uh, this, the, like the Sinclair, these inexpensive mm -hmm. computers mm -hmm. that a whole generation in England grew up on. Uh, and and even Upton and the Raspberry Pi people wanted. I interviewed him on Triangulation. It's an old Triangulation. If you want to watch the story, but mm -hmm. um, they wanted to create a computer that would empower the next generation of young people uh, to to learn computing. Uh, it's really awesome. I was running my Minecraft servers on that for the long time. It's very very powerful, very successful. Good. I do wonder uh, how from, many Raspberry Pis are running Minecraft still. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, the distro that uh, you can get with one of the distros, I think it's Raspbian, but one of the distros you can get with it, maybe it's a Windows distro, has a unique version of Minecraft that is Python scriptable. So it's a really good tool for teaching oh, uh, cool. young people into Minecraft how to program because all you have to say is, okay, now you're playing Minecraft, but did you know you could write a script that would just build a house with one push of the mouse? And then and Kano did that. I think that was the inside of the Kano computer for kids because I, I got one of those for my to try to get her into programming via the sneaky Minecraft way. It yeah. didn't work, but oh. <laughs> it was an attempt. You know what? It didn't work on my hard heads either. Yeah, not everybody should uh, be programming for sure. But what you're doing is you're giving them the option. The, you know, you're introducing it to them. And if it doesn't fit their needs, it doesn't yeah. fit their needs. That's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I the closest that I got to that is Hardhead, the senior Hardhead. He's actually interested in mobile phones more and more over the last couple of years. Like he really tends to look up to Mr. Howell, not just because he's oh, six foot nine. Yeah, but we all look he up tends to, to look up to him because of his information about yeah. all of the Android devices. Yeah, it's with it's the Raspbian version with Minecraft, and it has a a, a plugin that comes with it that allows you to. You can't actually do that. Um, you know, you can't do it on Windows. The <laughs> Minecraft Pi Edition. It's really, really cool. Uh, one of the things it, you, you, you should do, you can, you can programmatically build a bridge with dynamite. And then as you walk over it, it blows up behind you all the way. It's just fantastic. Kids love it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, I actually got that from a book blow up. that's uh, all about learning Python using the Raspberry Pi. It's really one of the best Python books uh, out there. Um, 